Hey everybody, welcome to Trading Capital's exclusive analysis. In today's video, we're discussing natural gas. So looking at the price action here, nat gas was off to a pretty hot start in early on in the week, and then it actually got faded over the last couple trading sessions. A couple important factors we're going to discuss in this video is we're going to look at this EIA report, the last natural gas inventories. The total came in at 2,259 billion cubic feet, a drawdown of roughly... 37 billion now the consensus for the market was actually for a net decrease of roughly 42 billion cubic feet however it came in at 37 billion cubic feet and we have seen a little bit of a market sell-off since that eia report came out now on a technical perspective despite uh, that report showing a little bit of sell side pressure NatGas still held the critical 186.22 level. We actually pierced it a couple times here, and bulls were able to keep it above that level. So I still remain net bullish at this point in time, but it's really on a knife edge. A couple positives here on a technical basis is the fact that NatGas was able to hold and close above that key seven-day moving average. Notice how this key critical 186 level that I've really been discussing for about just over a month now is coming up into an inflection point where you've broken out of your wedge pattern. You're now trying to hover above that short-term key moving average, and you're right at that key 186 level. So there's a couple factors of support keeping price action slowly just above that area as we establish a base, in my opinion, to move higher. Now, if we start losing this on a weekly basis, this 186 level, this pattern could break down and we could go lower. Up until now, Nat gas bulls are holding above those what, seven weekly moving average here in yellow. And this is actually your highest close really since February of 26 here. So February 26, one, two, three, four, five weeks. This is your highest weekly close for Nat gas in five weeks, which is, I think, a little bit of a sign that this is probably forming a little bit of a basing one stage one basing formation. And I do think that Nat gas has enough power to potentially make a little bit of a range break to the upside to get into that stage two pattern, which actually yields quite a substantial amount of upside. So I'm still remaining a little bit more bullish on that gas, considering we did get the highest weekly close in over five weeks, and we closed the week above the seven day moving average, as well as the key 186 level. If you look at AR, that stock did have a bounce with the market. Obviously it had a sell off with the indices yesterday, but it did bounce say EQT was a little bit weaker on the session, but still holding this long-term trend line. Take a look at this trend line going all the way back to your COVID low. Look at all these pivots. You've slowly hit it and you had a little bit of a double fake breakdown in this vicinity twice and you managed to get above it. So we're retesting that area as we speak. LNG is a little bit weaker. This one's actually broken that little bit of a trend line going back to your neckline but as of now it still could be forming potentially another uh, inverse head and shoulders that does give you a little bit more of a broader right shoulder that does suggest potentially even a higher target if it were to get back up to this neckline and trigger that potential breakout as of now lng is coming up into a support trend line that's primarily one of the reasons you actually bounced there uh, today off of that heavy heavy sell-off so on that note, thank you all for tuning in. If you're interested in how I'm trading that gas, definitely check out my tradingcapital.ca website. If we look at the futures chart, that gas futures chart, tried attempting that break out of this wedge pattern, got rejected. This could just be a smaller pullback before a bigger move. Obviously, you could always sell down to the low end of the wedge, but if you break this wedge pattern, then look out down below because you have a 144 and a 125 target on watch. On that note, take care, everybody. We'll see you on the charts a bit later.